you aren't my wife. Harry slams harsh words Meghan after exposed his embarrassed nickname. The Duchess of Sussex accidentally revealed the pet name when Harry made an appearance on The Late Late Show with James Corden. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are like any other couple when it comes to calling each other by cute nicknames, and keeping them private. However, Meghan did once accidentally reveal the adorable name she occasionally uses to refer to her royal husband, which led to a ribbing from one of his famous friends. The Duchess of Sussex let slip the pet name last year when Harry made an appearance on The Late Late Show with James Corden, taking a bus tour around LA with the host. As reported by The Mirror, at one point James video calls Meghan who spots the Duke of Sussex in the background and asks Has, how is your tour of LA going? Later Corden mocked, Has. I didn't know we were calling you Has. To which Harry quipped, Well you aren't my wife. Meghan Markle has no intention of returning to the UK as she simply doesn't care what the British public think, a royal biographer has claimed. The Duchess of Sussex, 40, stepped back from royal duties in 2020 and now she and her husband Prince Harry live in Montecito, California. Since moving to the US, Harry has returned to the UK on two occasions but never with Meghan or their two children in tow. Tom Bauer, who is currently working on a biography of Meghan claims the Duchess doesn't plan on returning to the UK because she views Britain as a lost cause. The commentator told The Sun, Meghan's ultimate destination is unclear, but she certainly has the backing to make a bid to star as an American politician. In parallel, Britain is a lost cause for the Sussexes. In truth, I suspect Meghan no longer cares whether she is welcome in London. He added, she has no intention of returning. Meghan Markle's reported decision not to return to the UK has been met with celebration from Sussex fans. Royal biographer Tom Bauer argues that she simply doesn't care what the British public think. The report was largely met with jubilation from followers of Prince Harry and his wife, with many celebrating the speculation. He said, Meghan's ultimate destination is unclear, but she certainly has the backing to make a bid to star as an American politician. In parallel, Britain is a lost cause for the Sussexes. In truth, I suspect Meghan no longer cares whether she is welcome in London. She has no intention of returning. Twitter user at Orville Lloyd appeared sympathized with Ms. Markle, responding, don't blame her one bit. Other users appeared less sympathetic and more grateful that she might not return. At Lisa Quake said, I think the UK is okay with that, while at Brian Angapi concurred, I don't think UK wants her back anyway. Mr. Bauer suggested that the Duke and Duchess lack of response to the Queen's declaration that Camilla would one day be Queen consort was Meghan's way of declaring war. When Harry broke the couple's four-day silence on the topic, he made no mention of his stepmother or the proposed change to her status. He instead paid an emotional tribute to his mother Diana, explaining that he felt an obligation to continue his late mother's efforts to fight the stigma surrounding AIDS and HIV. In what some have interpreted as a pointed remark, he said, I could never fill her shoes. This marks a departure from Harry's previous comments regarding Camilla. During an interview to mark his 21st birthday in September 2005, he said he and William loved her to bits. He added, she's a wonderful woman and she's made our father very, very happy, which is the most important thing. Warming to his theme, he added, look at the position she's come into. Don't always feel sorry for me and William, feel sorry for her. We are grateful for her. We're very happy to have her around. While his recent remarks may suggest animosity, things are not completely frosty between the Sussexes and their family. Prince Harry is believed to have reached out to his father to have friendly video calls ahead of the Queen's Jubilee celebrations. He is tipped to return for the event this summer.